Have you started it? No. Oh. Well, then I guess this is the intro. Ta da! <laughs> after Infinity War seems very dead. <laughs> very boring and not highly anticipated. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got a few weeks of... Well, no, there's films, there's films out this Friday. There wasn't... Wait. No, there is... There's a What's few out films this Friday? out. Tully. Tully. I'm actually looking forward to that. I don't know anything about it. It's about... Other than, is she a mother? She's don't a, tell me. Don't she's tell me. a I'll mother. Um, that's, it. that's it. That's all I'm going to say. It's, well, it about, it's about motherhood. Interesting. And I just saw that she gained £50 pounds for it, so... And wow. she gained fifty wow. pounds. I thought it meant like wow. money. They paid her fifty pounds 50 for it. Fifty pounds is all she got paid. Bloody hell! They're not getting paid as much as they once were. No, a listers. <laughs> Times up. Times up. Love getting paid more than fifty pounds. Yeah. Um. And the strangers pray at night, which I didn't realize was coming out now. I think it's already out in America. What's that? Which is the sequel to the strangers, which was the oh, mask yes, yes, killer yes, thing, yes, yes, yes. which I've never watched. And I'm sure you, you know, watched. Either. I don't think I have, but the title seems like one that I have seen. But I don't know. Why is it any horror? It feels like horror films do that. They make the sequels never just two. They're a lot more like have yeah. sub headings. Yeah. Um, apparently, this one's actually a little different and is actually it. watchable. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also, horror films a lot of the time make a sequel. <laughs> like most films don't. But a lot of horror films do. Yeah, but horror films, there's normally like, oh, where's the next one? That's a weird and thing. And they're getting isn't it? worse, like, don't breathe when the ending is connecting to love a plane yeah. uh, is ah. connecting to a sequel do you remember the ending to don't breathe spoilers yeah if you've not seen it yeah. God. <laughs> yeah it's like he's alive he's still alive <laughs> and she sees it on the flipping news absolutely oh yeah doesn't she Such mm, trash. Plane. that plane needs to get out of here why is there so many planes here? this isn't a place you want to be flying around i know Maybe well, it no, it's right already. near the sea it probably looks quite pretty from above to be fair when we flew to italy we went near yeah. yeah, and it looked beautiful. Yeah. And then we got to Italy and it was raining, so lesson learned. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so there is films out. Yeah. Obviously, you've got a big lineup in well this month because it's now May. Well, hey, uh, hey you've got hey. a You're lot of big films. You're saying because it's your birthday this month. Also, I sound like I'm really far away, so I'm gonna come a bit closer. Well, have you started whispering when you've come close to that kind of defeats the point? I don't know. <laughs> so, um, no, yeah, you got some big ones this month. Yeah. Deadpool. Yeah. Solo. Yeah. That's it. No, I think there is quite a few. Mm. Um, can't remember. But anyway, we go on after Infinity War somehow. Somehow we have managed to get out of bed every morning. Yeah. Go to work. Go to work. Um, yeah, this week. Yeah. We aren't talking about yeah. anything particularly new. We're talking about. What are we talking about, you say? We're talking about... I like blah, when you blah, say the title of the I film. I started to think of the title and I said, we're talking about... <laughs> we're talking about Brawl in cell block Nanana. Yeah, which has just been released on Now TV and we've only just yeah. watched it. We've been desperate to watch it for months. Months, months, um, months, months. But we don't watch films illegally, y'all. Yeah, we don't actually. We actually don't. Well, I say that, actually. Apart <laughs> 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 from yesterday. <laughs> But we haven't done no, we that. Didn't. I don't think we've done that for like a year. Well, anyway, we're desperate. Yeah. Only and we don't. We... And, we, and we don't. When we do, we don't actually do it. No, we don't. We've got no evidence. No. <laughs> Clear the cash. Clear the cash. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we'll talk about this film. It's an mm. interesting one. Uh, it's an 18. Just going to give for you a good reason. There. Yeah. And we'll link it to a topic, so it's first yeah. relevant to yeah, us, so it's at least. Technically. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still relevant yeah. weeks onwards before it, after it being released. Yeah. Um, how can we give a brief summary of a brief, all this? What, a, the like a synopsis? Well, no, um, a non-spoiler of you. Okay, okay. Well, it's... Do you know, I thought... Um, is that spoilery? I'll save it. You can't help yourself. I don't think I should ever say yourself. anything until we're doing spoilers. Um, we didn't watch any. Did we? we didn't, I didn't watch a trailer for this. Oh, I, I didn't. Did. I didn't know. We heard about it because yeah. it was Vince Vaughn about hair. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> and we were like... In a and we different kept seeing, kind of role. It was kind of like Veronica, where it's one of those films that you just kept hearing about yeah. in different places. Yeah. Or just on the eye. It's like, oh, this is about this. And it's kind of like... Um, What's on Steven Soder- Soderbergh just released the other week? We completely missed it because it lasted at the cinema for about two days. One shot on an iPhone. Unsane. Oh, unsane. Kind of yeah. that kind of oh, film shoot. where you hear stuff yeah. because obviously the promotion, the marketing for it is done in a yeah. different way. Yeah. Whereas for this, it was kind of like a shocking release by the sounds of it. Yeah. And you can see why watching it. Yeah. Um, it is not for the faint hearted. No. I'm really <laughs> Stop not. saying that. No. If it you is don't an 18 like... for a reason. I was going to say if you don't like blood and guts, but it's not even blood and guts, it's just like flat out violence it's if you don't like if you don't like obvious violence with no end to it yeah then maybe give this one a miss it's if you do then you're gonna horrific. like this yeah. if you love a bit of yeah. revenge and violence you're gonna like this mm-hmm. um yeah it's uh it's very good it's uh it it's kind good. of it feels like an older film interestingly yeah it, it does i think because as well it's this isn't a spoiler. Well done, oh me. God. Well done. Because it's not um, like a, a like a messed about with timeline. It just goes through from beginning to end, which actually we weren't sure about. We thought at one point it might have jumped back, but it hadn't. Um, so it jumped forward. It did jump forward, yeah. Fun, but yeah. I mean, it's still linear in that it doesn't sort of do flashbacks. And I laugh if we're completely it's wrong just, um... and it did jump backwards. <laughs> you got it completely <laughs> yeah. wrong. You've got it. Completely. It's a different character we were yeah. watching. <laughs> yeah. It's actually his uh, That's father. That's his brother at the start. <laughs> oh my god, how embarrassing. No, but um, yeah, I think just the way it sort of just kind of went through from beginning to end and there was no sort of like, no subplots. It was just this one plot and it just went from beginning to end and then just yeah, it didn't, what happened happened. Yeah, it kind of felt like it was playing in real time. Like it didn't, it, it's very, it's really strange in terms of the, the pacing because mm. we only knew obviously the title, so we assumed it would be about a big after what well, after like a certain amount of information is revealed in the in the film. Yeah, you kind of thought, okay, this is gonna be about a big ass prison fight. Yeah, like I, shit's gonna I, go I, down I, in yeah. cell block ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Um, I actually I can say what I was gonna say because it's not spoilery because you know obviously <laughs> some or all of it is gonna take part in a prison because it's called and he's in, the in yellow, cell block uh, ninety nine. In I, orange, in the, yeah, yeah, you'll be able to see the picture before yeah. you watch it. So, I yeah. thought all of it probably was going to be in a prison. It's but really it strange, isn't, isn't it? It's it's like a two-hour film, but it didn't feel that long. No, it felt it about didn't. like an hour twenty. An yeah, hour it felt 30. really short. Because it felt, it felt really like short. he got into prison. It didn't feel like there was much film before him getting mm. into prison. And once he was no, in prison, was, it went very yeah. quick. Yeah. Um, I guess we can all, we should, maybe we should get into spoilers. Yeah. You should watch please, this. Please, God, I'm dying. Right. Yeah, okay. Spanner, spanner, manana, na, spoilers. Spanner, na. Got a problem with that? No. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Sorry, there's a seagull coming right for the window and it just. Kill us. It, kill went, us. Away. it went away. It went away. Um, spoiler. I already said it. I know, Why'd but I was doing me? it again. <laughs> you can't say what you were going to say. You said you wanted to say something in spoilers. No, that was it, about it being... Well, I can talk more about that now then. Yeah, I thought it was just going to jump straight in. He was already going to be in prison. It was going to be about him in prison and like whether he got out or not or something went wrong in prison. But actually, obviously, you've got like a really long story beforehand. Um, and it takes quite a long time for it to even get to the point where he's to in prison. He's in prison. Yeah. The story before his prison doesn't really add up to much, does it? Other than obviously, and it gets the deal, and that felt really early on. The, the deal goes wrong, and then he gets himself yeah. in prison. But he does. But it's interesting the choices he makes, which is really cool because the choices he made was obviously the turn on the crim- criminals he was working yeah. with. Let's just give a brief summary in case no one's seen it. I was talking about spoilers now, but sure. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, I'm like, if it. you've not seen this film, so it's about you know, Vince Vaughn's character, and obviously. It, like him and his wife, well, not obviously, except I called it from the beginning. Um, her, yeah, have lost a baby, and then he gets fired, and she doesn't have much work, so they're kind of poor and stuff. And he starts working for a friend who's a like a drug lord, <laughs> drug dealer, and he starts delivering packages for his friend um, to get loads of money. And then when it does jump forward, obviously that's work because they're in a massive house. <laughs> and they've got a baby on the way. And they have a baby on the way. Yeah. Which they call koala, which is really cute. That's adorable. Yeah. Um, not sure how much the baby's gonna like that. Nah. But then I mean, it's legs off. 
Yeah, but that doesn't have any. Yeah, yeah. That's brutal. It's awful. It's That's horrible. This horrible film is image. horrible. Yeah, it is pretty full on. Yeah. Um, this could very much be a Wilson Fisk origin story, <laughs> minus the ending. Yeah, it maybe. could, couldn't it? Yeah. This would be enough to tip him over the edge. Oh yeah. And he looks like him. Yeah. With his bald head and orange jumpsuit, yeah. and and he acts like Fisk. Just he takes does. he just takes a hit and he doesn't. This is really strange in this film because you kind of think, how was he so? It's kind of like um. It reminds me of You Were Never Really Here. Mm. Listen, so he just takes hits, but as he takes hits and he's absolutely fine at times. Like, he's a fucking tank. He's... And they good away, a good, do a good way of conveying that, obviously, with yeah. the car at the start. Yeah. So she was cheating on him at the start. Yeah, he's, she? she's, she's been seeing somebody for a few months and he, like, tells her to go inside the house and he <laughs> rips Kicks the car him. apart yeah, with his bare hands. He the window and then pulls the bonnet off. He's obviously a very strong man. Yeah. And he does look like a tank in it, to be he's fair. He's so tall as well. Like, I always think some strength's got to come from you being that tall. Yeah. You've got quite a good leverage over everything. But yeah, I want to know how much of that he actually was able to do. And <laughs> obviously that that window won't have just been made of glass, like flat out glass. Shot but whatever well. he was punching that hard, because it's, yeah, it's shot like in a way that you can just it see just that he's, like he's, doing he's it, yeah. smashing something with his fist. His hand was definitely like real time bleeding, and it was yeah. Whatever you punch that, even if you punch in like a bit of foam that hard for a while, it's gonna hurt. God, yeah. it's crazy. I, was, I reckon I reckon you could do the bonnet, but they obviously loosened the bonnet or took the bonnet yeah. off, so you could just pick it up and throw it. Yeah. Um, but they did well putting that at the start because yeah. it shows you how strong he is. Because then later on, when he has fights and he tears people's faces off and such, <laughs> you can sort of believe that he has the strength to do that. Someone's head off. The punching's really odd in it, and mm. I feel like it's because it's probably realistic the way they don't make like a, they don't go. Whoosh, 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 yeah. Whoosh, whoosh, kind of like I don't know how to explain it, the punch, like they dodge a lot, I and mean, mm. I believe that because they look like they're fighting at this kind of speed you would be. Yeah. But none of it. That's what I said to you. It's really nice because it's just shot of like uh, what, what is it called? I, I can't even think when you just have well, just like a wide shot. Yeah. And it's just one long wide shot, and they're just fighting, and you yeah. can you can see that it's obviously like been a very well rehearsed fight, and it's not like trying to trick you into like. It's seeing like someone cuts, no and it and it know. and it's slow but it's not it's not so slow you're like oh my god hurry up but it's just slow in the way like you say you believe that that is probably how people fight that is where the length of this film probably comes from yeah is it like you said about the stuff with like the zapper thing that they electrocute him with or like yeah or it, it sort of hangs on shots all the time which is great because it feels really morbid and it feels like like because you obviously he's in the cell and mm. there's a lot of shots of him just sitting there for ages and you watch him wake up loads of times really mm. slowly it's just that kind of he hanging just, around like, what, watch him. him eat uh, like a candy bar and stuff huh what he's just, yeah. what, you just watch him eating for like a whole minute which is really cool I think it's just meant to make you feel like I, in, in the isolation of it mm. and it's meant to make you feel well it's not even for the isolation of it maybe just like you're in there with him yeah because there's a lot of shots when obviously you feel like you're mm. going you kind of feel a bit sorry for him like you said even though he's a complete nutter and yeah, it's not Maury is. right and I'm obviously no, doing it for his family no he shouldn't have been drug dealing <laughs> whatever yeah, yeah and he's got himself into this situation yeah and he shot people, and yeah, but then because you're spending the time with him, you kind of feel a little. You kind of sort of get empathetic for him or sympathetic. Um, yeah, empathetic. I don't agree. I've never had that experience, but <laughs> um, yeah, which is really nicely done. Yeah, I don't know why you'd root for him. It's a, there's well, a I lot. Think of... you, I think as well they do quite a good job of that, even though he is crazy and obviously he's a he's a drug dealer, which is really bad, and he does shoot people. But he like, I think they do do that well. With that guy coming in and saying, you know, because you, you clearly have, like, a moral compass. You know the difference between right and wrong. Like, you saved the lives of all those police officers because you, like, killed the bad guys. He could have just disabled them, though. <laughs> he didn't have to, to shoot them yeah. in the head. Yeah, but... it's, it's really... That's what I said about his choices. They're really strange. Obviously, he had that to sort of give himself... Because it was better doing that than... I don't know why he didn't try to run. I assume because he's his only way off. Because he, he turned around to go away. Well, and then he yeah, well, that's what that's what he says. Right, like you could have run, like you could have got away from. You yeah. could have just, you know, not technically not even been there. But he decided to go and kill the other two guys because he thought that they were they were killing the police officers. Which is strange because also you would have thought if he had run, maybe he would have thought the the guy, the main guy, is going to mm. go after him because he knew he was there. Yeah. So he could have gone where you shouldn't have left him. I think it's because he turned on them. The main guy turns on him because he turned on the guys that he was working with. (laughs) So confusing. The the guy that he was working for, dealing the drugs for, turned on him because he killed the 
two guys. No, yeah. I know, but I said oh, right. if he had run away instead, yeah. maybe he would have turned on him still. Like, it would have happened. It could have happened the same, yeah. but outside of prison. Yeah. Um, yeah, because obviously the film's obviously about, which we kind of worked out, was about him. Go- they wanted to get- when he was in prison, they got him on the phone. Where that guy, that guy, the creepy nails, <laughs> said to him. He's been in something else recently, and he was super creepy in that. Yeah, too. he I just looks creepy, else. unfortunately, yeah. for him. Oh, I did get IMDb up to have a look at these very things. Yeah. Um, what yeah. is it? This also I was going to say. This film feels very much like Blue Ruin, which we watched recently, and you were never really here. Yeah. And it was kind of like revenge thriller, or kind of thrillery films, or dark films where. It's never going to end well for anyone. No. And it's, it's they're, they're all great, which is interesting, because it's like, is the genre good, or is it just how they're portrayed, these films? Because they're all kind of... I think it's a really good genre, because it is that kind of... Gritty. Slow, real-time, like, things unfolding. It's the third time we've said real-time. Real-time! <laughs> we should call this Sublock 99 real-time. Um... <laughs> Yeah, and I think that's a, a really interesting genre anyway, but uh, these these are particularly well um, well done and well acted. Yeah. Maybe, again, it's because it's from filmmakers who worked on short films, because a lot of people who do short films tend to do sort of this yeah. kind of Well, I think you get, you get good at knowing what to include in a certain amount of time and what to take out, so yeah. anything you put out there is going to sort of be a good a good representation of, of the subject. Yeah. Oh, I've forgotten her name. I think it's Jennifer something. Jennifer it's good Carpenter. Seeing, yeah. It's good seeing her in this because I haven't seen her in anything since Dexter, I don't think. And uh, she's quite good in Dexter. Um, I don't know what's happened she's to her. She's his sister, isn't she, in it? What, in Dexter? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I've just realised why I know her. Why? Oh, she's in The Exorcism of Emily Rose. I'm pretty sure <laughs> she is the girl. Actually, Christ. I could probably watch that again now. I know it's her because it creeped me out more because it's, it's, it it's so much worse, isn't it, when you don't know the actor? Yeah, I know what you so mean. So much worse. Um, oh okay yeah yeah this, this the fighting in this is great I mm. loved watching it oh, yeah and like I said I kind of I, I love how it ended but I was kind of hoping as well at the same time it would turn into a big brawl because that'd be awesome to watch yeah because um, of the no, title it's true. a very strange title again it kind of makes it feel like an old film because the title is like a sentence as opposed to yeah. like one word like oh, this is yeah. they didn't call it like <laughs> I don't know vengeful yeah I know what you mean <laughs> the poster his bald head with the cross on it and yeah even though that was one of the posters it's a cool but poster like... that's a cool poster yeah that blue one's nicer yeah it is um I don't know what to say about it really it's uh discuss about it. the ending stuff is crazy I mean all the gore stuff is absolutely ridiculous it kind of yeah. kicks off and he breaks that prison it's very blunt with it which is always nice because again you can't tell where yeah, it's going the only thing I guess I would like to know is I know they sort of hint at him having boxed when he was younger which kind of explains like yeah they? which explains why he can fight well no he says about but him it doesn't look like boxing he but it doesn't no just... it doesn't look like boxing it looks like some sort of and also I just would like to know why he's that violent like you don't kind of just get that violent from I know, no. obviously, he, he loves his family, obviously, and he wants to... He must have, How long... Well, it's time skipped by quite a bit of time. Well, it skipped time by quite a bit. So maybe yeah. when he was doing all the drug dealing and stuff on the end of that house, he might have got more involved in stuff like that. I mean, yeah, they do kind of say that, don't they? What's it, like, is that muscle for show? And he says, oh, it helps me lift things. So I think he probably... And he does say whenever... Because when she says that she's been cheating and thought that he was probably doing the same because he came home late all the time, he said, no, I was either working or I was working out. Yeah. So that kind of explains that. But that violence and being... Maybe, I, th- I guess you're just meant to think he's that sort of person. Yeah, you don't know who he was before any of this. No. But like before the start of the film, and he already had that cross on his head. He could have been like an incredibly violent person before. Yeah, is the cross on his head. Is that not a... Um, like I, I thought that was like a white supremacist thing. It that? does look a little bit like it. And it's bald. Be. And it's bald, yeah. It could be. I don't know. Again, it's kind of, I don't know. Maybe we've either missed little bits of dialogue that might explain a bit, or they've just not explained it, and that's fine because it's just a character. I just setting. need to be that violent, like you. Something, something's, something's wrong. <laughs> to know how to do that stuff, like to, to decapitate a man by kicking their head. I mean, is he pretty, kicks yeah. someone's head off. Yeah, it's I, pretty I, impressive. That's not the worst bit. That was not the worst bit. No, the worst bit was when he stamps on the guy's head and drags it on the floor so his face comes off. <laughs> like I guess but the thing is, I guess with that kind of violence, it's like you didn't, you wouldn't. They're not like tech, like techniques to violence or skills. What they are is being violent to the point of that's what yeah, happens. That's like, what I bet I mean. he didn't mean Something's to. Happened. Yeah, I bet he didn't mean. Like, I bet I'm sure, I'm sure he didn't know it would drag the guy's face off last, and he just did it because he was being violent like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was yeah. a lot of head stamping in this because he got his head. What, what, uh, his the guards put their fucking shoes in his head, didn't they, and rubbed it across the floor. Yeah. Yeah, and he stamped on, and he killed that guy. He stamped his whole head and cracked it open, didn't he? 
Fucking hell, yeah. It's so. It really it's kicks so off at one point. It really kicks off from the point where he snaps that guy's arm. Yeah. From that point onwards, it is just fucking meat train. It was really <laughs> surprising when he snapped that guy's arm because that's quite a way into the film. When he did it, we both went, "Oh, yeah. my God!" Because it didn't really was going to be that violent. No. I thought it was going to be a lot of bruises and a lot of beating. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Like I thought fucking, yeah. Fucking yeah. bone out of the arm. I thought there might be like a like a rape. Yeah. Because normally when yeah. it's prison violence, you kind of you think that they do say that. Who says about who they say about getting raped? Too? He says that if um, if they don't get his wife to the friend so that he knows she's okay, that he'll let all of the people in Seven Up Ninety Nine out to rape the guy, um, Warden Tugs. Who? What? Someone says you will get raped. This or you will get raped. What is that in this? I don't want to know anyway, it's a horrible one. Yeah, it was that. It was that, yeah. yeah. Okay, I, was just, I wasn't sure that was it. That, was that one? That, yeah, no, it was, this yeah. Is... Christ, yeah. Yeah, was he, so he goes in there to obviously get the guy and we found out mm. just to go back on to Gossie's and then they obviously find out that the guy doesn't exist yeah. and he was after they did it to get Bridge. him. I love that, I love that because it's even when he says done. there's no Christopher Bridge and he like, there's never been a Christopher Bridge. You, they don't even do like that thing what they where they would do in most of them where they do a close-up on him and he's like, oh my God. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. He's just like, okay, no, it's yeah. just another tactic. Then like, I'm not surprised. I think sort of it just carries on. They convey it very well. The fact that he obviously knows that his life is pretty much ended in terms of he's yeah. not going to ever have. There's no point. It was the whole thing of like he's in prison now, mm. and he by that point he's gotten to the deepest depths yeah. of prison where he's never yeah. going to be serving for life. So I'm also glad they did that phone call at the end where, um, when he's talking to her and he like is visibly like beside himself like really sad because he knows he's going to die and he's never actually going to meet his daughter and stuff and she lets him like talk to the, her belly and stuff yeah. I'm really glad they did that because I think if they hadn't I know he like obviously really cared about her and stuff but there was no point really where he looked like devastated or anything I would have which is that more fine if he was off the phone and then did it if he had that call, said what he said, but keeping it together and come off the phone and then did it. Totally that. agree. That would have been heaps better. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that would have been so much better. Podcast done this week. All right, bye. I've proven I'm better than everyone again. <laughs> again. I could do every, every week. week. Every week. <laughs> last, last week of Infinity War, I proved yeah. that I was better than that film. How to make yeah. it better. And now this one. Yeah. More cap. Sign me up. Would have made it better. Yeah. No. no, like I said, I don't mind less cap because next time there'll be more. Anyway, <laughs> carry on with this. <laughs> Just had to conclude that a little bit. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, that would have been awesome. Been sadder as well. Yeah. I'd have felt more that would be in this character keeping it um, up front and then sort of yeah. getting upset behind. Did you know what I didn't realise? What I didn't... Re- not what I didn't realise. What I didn't understand. You know when he'd hung up the phone and they were like, right, we're coming in now? Yeah. Why was he saying, oh, I've still got a minute? I, d- I, I assume he had minute said... You, they said about that earlier on, I think, when he said I've got about the minute he had before. I assume he had said, like, oh give me like this amount of time but I don't remember him saying like oh give me specifically I think this, I remember vaguely something about the time but I can't remember oh, him okay. saying what but yeah he said you've still got that minute I think anyway yeah because he just kept saying I have like one more minute or I've got 25 seconds left or whatever I enjoyed how he ended by saying how many days the baby had to come because when they asked him at the <laughs> when he asked him at the start how uh, like when is she oh, oh what he yeah, actually when... so lovingly said was when is she dumping out the kid <laughs> I think he meant when is your baby due <laughs> um, but yeah he said like oh ninety seven days or eighty seven days I can't remember the exact number but then at the end he said how many days it was and then they shot his face off which is really sweet I thought <laughs> a weird mannequin which we assume is on purpose. Cause yeah, it looks so bad. I, I don't think it's on purpose. That. I think because it's a call out Dude. to like older films. Yeah, I think it's a call out to like the way you. Because a lot of this violence feels like it's. I mean, it looked like him, but just the when it got shot. Oh, then maybe that's what. Maybe we need to it, watch it, it again. It didn't look anything like him. It oh, I like think it did bald. look like him, but it didn't. It. I. I. I didn't think it didn't look like him. I think I. What I thought looked bad about it was the way it came apart. Yeah, because it looked like a mannequin. Yeah. But I think it. But that's what I mean. I think it was. It was so bad that it obviously you wouldn't have to include that shot. That I think it was purposely. I think done. it was also as well because it looked still. It didn't look like he moved when he got like, shot. That's what I mean. There was so many ways you could have made that look better, and and you could have avoided having that shot look that terrible. I think it was on purpose. Mm. I already do because I think it was. 
I do like that. I actually pads. do like that they showed it though because I was just waiting for the gun to be lifted up to um, him and then it go, go black. black yeah. yeah, or it go black and you hear a gunshot. I was yeah. like, it's going to be one of the two, and actually, it was quite. I don't know why I was surprised at the amount of stuff they'd actually shown in this, but I was surprised that they showed it. But I was glad that they did because it's nice for films to have an end. It used to be cool when you didn't quite end your film and people went, oh, but now everybody does it and now it's annoying. <laughs> do you know if it <laughs> just ended? Anno- it just annoys me. Just end the film. What? I was going to say, they do usually do it for... I mean, these typical kind of thrillers tend to always end with, like, them going down or mm. the people or the enemies going down. Usually them going... Like I said, it's usually them ending. It, like, the, the main character and mm. tends to go down at the end of these. Um... Imagine if they, I was just going to say, imagine if they end it when they said there is no, what was his name? He was the guy, Christopher, Christopher Bridge. Christopher Bridge. I, I think it was there? Christopher, it was definitely Bridge, but anyway. Yeah, it probably was. What was his name again? What, Vince Vaughn? Yeah. Uh, Bradley. Brad Lee, not Brad. Bradley Thomas. Didn't they keep saying, he said something about his name as well, and someone called him Bradley, and he went, it's Brad, or didn't someone say Brad, and he said it's Bradley. Yeah, it happens all, all the way through. Yeah. People say Brad, and he says Bradley. And then he... Just another character, character train. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I love that little little showdown at the end of what he did. Some serious, like some ridiculous stuff to get himself deeper into prison. Into yeah. The prison. And he was like yeah. before he broke that guy's arm, I was like, "Whoa, okay, mate, Jesus!" Yeah. I thought you did enough already, but then he snapped his arm. I kind of loved it. it so there funny. was no hesitation though. As soon as he yeah. said, "That's what you got to do," he wasn't like, "Oh no, how am I going to do this?" He was like, "Okay, crack on." <laughs> yeah. Snap his arm. All right, punch him out. Oh, like. Because they sent him pictures, didn't they, of his wife? He kind of he kind of did this thing where he was like, "No, I'm not." He did kind of do that kind of, um, "I can't do that," but then he instantly went, "Okay, no, I've got to." As soon as he saw like ev- like evidence of they took us. Yeah, he was just like, "Where, where, what one is he in? What's his name?" Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> that came up from nowhere with his wife as well. With yeah. the um. With, well, I know of his wife with the fact she just got like ambushed in her house yeah. and darts in the neck. That was quite cool. I like the way they did that. I really yeah. like the way they did that. Actually. Brutal. The fucking yeah. darts as well. She looked really cool like doing it as well. She did it really well, I thought. Like, because the first one kind of hit her and she was like, oh my God, no, no, no. And she kind of yeah. took it out and she was... She started she bleeding was, as well. Yeah, like, she was yeah. sort of fine. And then the second one, she was just like, whoa. <laughs> and then went down. It's cool. I like how she like sat herself down as well, rather than like just falling over. Because obviously she was pregnant. She was like trying to. Is that noise? It's my laptop. Yeah, I like that. And um, she was saying about um, how he like really quickly got to each like <laughs> each bit of, bit of the prison. Yeah. I was saying it was kind of funny because you. I know I said it while we were watching it, but they don't know that. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was really weird because. There was like half of you going, oh no, don't do anything else because you don't want him to get deeper and deeper into prison. But also mm-hmm. each time you like got to a new level, you were like, yay, <laughs> he's getting closer. How many times does he do it in prison? Well, the first time he's in, so he's in the main prison that he yeah. goes to, the uh, fridge as they called it. Yeah. To the fridge? Yeah, yeah, yeah the wasn't fridge. the sink, the hot tub, wasn't no, it? No, was the, fr- <laughs> it was the fridge. Hot dog, no, the fridge. The hot yeah. dog. Yeah. It said the hot tub. I know, but I said hot, hot dog, dog because I saw... We kept accidentally calling the hot dog in Iceland. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> um, 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 yeah, he goes to the fridge. But that I, I feel like that's the first one because you didn't really want him to do that anyway. Like, Well, I think I think because he could have walked away at the start and he doesn't. So already you're like, oh, no. And then the guy kind of gives him an out and says, if you give us some names, like you probably like either won't go to prison or you'll have less time. Yeah. So that. And then he does go to prison. And then when he's in the prison, like he's being quite like nice and then that guy's being really nice to him on the stairs and he's like oh I'm really sorry I like was like kind of grinding your gears a little bit like I just want you to be like part of the boxing thing or whatever yeah and then he breaks his arm and then he goes to the next he starts and then doesn't he yeah yeah um, well, as soon as they get back up into like the cell thing, yeah. and he like takes his shoes off, he's like, oh, "What are you doing?" Yeah, so he does that. <laughs> That's my shoes. Yeah, I know. Does that, and then he gets to the next prison, and then he like messes up in the like in the yard, and so yeah. they take him to the next bit, and then he starts mucking around in there as well. It's like, oh my god. What was the next bit after the yard? Uh, Who did he muck around with after? <laughs> Who did he piss off after? Well, that? in the no, in the yard he got taken then to Suburb ninety nine. Oh, it was straight yeah. that, wasn't it? It's, it's but even when he was in there, he wasn't like people he, he fucked he in the yard. Him. Wasn't the people who were with? <laughs> so <that. laughs> the people who he fucked up in the yard. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. Aren't they? Aren't some of them the people who were in the cell block ninety nine? Yeah, I think they all in were. The room. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know if they're in the room, no. No, I thought they were one of Maybe, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell when they're all in prison clothing because there's not really much to tell people apart. And they've all got tattoos all over their mm. necks and stuff. But, um, but uh, yeah, no, he does that, obviously, and then even when he's in there, like, he doesn't behave, and then <laughs> it all kicks off. Um, what do you think you say? Oh, that bit when they gave him his dinner and he was like, do you have any utensils? <laughs> oh, my God. Do you have any utensils? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> any plastics or whatever. <laughs> What oh, accent does no. it have? I think it's just southern. Like I just did. Is that yeah. spot on? I was pretty much um, him then. Speaking of his accent and him, he's really good in this. Yeah. If really you're aware of linking this on to what we're going to go to. Yeah. That's uh, the biggest no. surprise thing. This is probably one of the biggest marketing, way, well, best ways to market this film is that it's, that it's Vince Vaughn. Yeah. It's definitely. like the Merowitz yeah, stories. Yeah, it definitely is, because if it had this been just another like bold actor that always did these another kind of films, I wouldn't bother. I know he's not normally bold, but I mean, just like... If it had it just been one of those everyday bold <laughs> actors, it wouldn't have been anything. I don't know why I need to If this to was a Jason bold. Statham... Or a That's fucking... exactly what I was just about to say. No, but if this was Jason Statham and this was advertised, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think twice about watching it. But obviously it's always interesting. But because it's Melissa them. McCarthy, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Spy link there. That's the selling point of this film. Yeah. Is uh, yeah. that's why I did think of it because of spy. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's interesting seeing him in this role. Yeah. I I rate Vince Vaughn. Let's, I do we can too. go on to this now. Should we should we give the film a score quick before we go on to? Yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah. Give, yeah. You go first. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Eight point four. I knew it. I mouthed it you with mouthed you. It, I it. Eight point four. I'm gonna go eight point five. Hmm? 8.5. 8. 5. Yeah. The fucking top me again. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you no, what. It's good. It's good. If I ever get you in cell block 99, I'm going to batter you. Oh, thank you. That's <laughs> really loving. <laughs> I love that we share this time together. That you can threaten me with abuse. Um, <laughs> yeah. Shave no, my head really first. Really good. And then I'll get a roll. <laughs> never will watch it because I'm bald. Yeah. So they've got some little. Oh, that's not just any other bold actor. It's Leo yeah. Ratcliffe. It's Leo Ratcliffe, and he's bald. <laughs> he doesn't normally do these things. Yeah. Um, doesn't normally shave his head. No, it's rare. Yeah. Um, I. Mm, let's just say, yeah, I, I rate. I do too. Yeah. I, I just do... think he's. Sorry, I'll let you speak. Okay. You go first. I was just going to say that I really. I rate him anyway. And I know people always take the mick because he's like the same in everything. And that is true to a degree, but. He's still good. He's still dialect, good at what he's doing. He sounds yeah. the same. I don't think it's always the same right. He talks the yeah. same. He everything like, he says is... Yeah. 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 It's perfect. That was, I've got the role of it. I'm not really top. sure what that was, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I understood what you were going Yeah. But then again, we watched him, but then this, this would be more responsible had we have not seen him in Hacksaw Ridge. Because hmm. he's very serious in that, but he's more Vince Vaughn in that than he is. He's not way more Vince Vaughn. Way more Vince Vaughn. And his head is not shaved, so. Yes. I know we should do that suddenly, but I thought I'd make the biggest noise I could. I was. I was reaching for the water like I was trying to force it to me, and then Leo just like, <laughs> and handed it to me yeah. like I forced it because I did. Could have done it silently, pretending that wasn't a thing, but mm-hmm. I thought I'd make a noise for it. Mm. Um, Thanks. Yeah. We're going to talk about some uh, some out of character roles, mm-hmm. as I said to put it. But then I looked that up to see if there was any that we hadn't thought of, and mm. that didn't come up with anything. Basically, yeah. roles that actors have done yeah. that, which That's I surprising. cannot think of any off the top of my head. I have a few, but I don't think they're as crazy as, as this, where it's like actors. I've that got have taken some roles that I've very found different. on the internet. Do you want to know the ones before? Because you've got fucking loads. Do you want to know the ones I've that I thought loads. of first? Yeah, go on. The first that comes to my head is Eternal Sunshine. Yeah. Of the spotless mind. Jim Carrey and that. Yeah. At least a Jimmy. Not a shaved head. Not a is shaved he different? head, though. Is no. he really different if he hasn't shaved his head? No. No, he's the same person. He's the same. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Most people say Truman Show, um, and this list says Truman Show, that, he's, like, that, that was a surprising role for him, but I... So, that is him. Although I mean, it, it's more it, a surprising it, film for him. I think is the way of. It is and it isn't because although he does his like, <laughs> like yeah. silly faces in it, not silly, they're excellent, but you know what I mean. Those faces, I think that makes it Jim Carrey. But equally, it's still a lot like a deeper role than he had ever done yeah. before. He wasn't fucking about with penguins in that. Yeah, yeah, and he wasn't or a like mask. a pet detective. <laughs> Or a mask. Yeah, so actually, that is quite a surprising role. But if you want to go down the role, the route of, like, really, like, oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah, Eternal Sunshine. Yeah. 
it's completely different for him. But that's the thing of Truman so Show is it doesn't it feel different. I know it's deeper, but it's a, it's a different film for him. It's not a different. He would suit that role. If you wrote show me that script without him, I'd be like, that seems like. I don't Jim know. Perry. Well, get out then. I don't think he would. <laughs> would you? Not? So, no. Interesting. No, Who would you see in that role? Matt Damon. <laughs> that is kind of a Matt Damon. That but, was more, but, spot more on. Of, but more because of yeah, but then beginning then because it's the same that kind of like upbeat kind of mm. yeah, I can see Matt Damon in that. Yeah. More because of Thingy recently. What's it called? Tiny People film. Uh, right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm going to call it now. The, the the tiny person film. Yeah. Downsizing. That's the one. I didn't um, think of that. But yeah, yeah. But should anyway. watch that at some point. We should. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, I quite see that actually. Um, yeah. Go on then. What are your others? I was just going to. I've actually just thought of one. Um, basically, before I was saying about the different kind of film, I actually thought about the Merowitz stories and thought about Adam yeah. Sandler and that. But I was like, he's again, he's, his. It's not very different for him. It's just again, it's him put into a good film. It's what it's because he shouts like he does. Yeah, it's still. He's, he's, he's more. It's still quite grounded different. in that. Yeah. A little bit, yeah, but I think it's just because he feels older. I don't think he actually feels like a different. Like, I can believe that that's him. I can believe it that it's him, but I think it's still quite a standout role for him. Yeah. But that's what I mean because it's in like a that. good film. I say that. But that's what I mean. It's not. But yeah. what I mean is it's not like it's shocking. It's just that no, he's actually and actually, doing I good. think there's quite a lot of his. Romantic comedies where there's there's bits in it where you can really tell that he can act. Clicks pretty. Yeah. Happy. <laughs> even like even I know you don't like it, but even just go with it. Oh, I there, just go there, with there it. There are po- there are points in that where you can tell that he can act. Yeah. He just well. can't write or pick good stuff. Mm, I don't no, know. Don't depends. Know. Depends. Oh, but, yeah. she's worried he's gonna listen to this now. Oh my god! I'm so sorry, Adam. Please <laughs> cast me in your next. <laughs> what? Um, I thought. The one I just thought of then. You're going to start thinking of them now and I'm going to no, delete my I'm list. Not. No, all, all I thought of is this is how I made the link because you just said about that. De- we just said about downsizing. I was trying to think of quirky films and I thought of other quirky films we missed at the cinema that were interesting to watch. And I thought of Colossal and I thought in Colossal, Jason yeah. Bateman? Is that is it? No, it's not just Jason S- Sudeikis? Sudeikis. 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 Jason Sudeikis in uh, in Colossal is quite different. I don't want to say why. I think he feels a bit. They're not beginning. It's not crazy enough. I'll go into my crazy ones. There's some little ones that feel a bit different for the actors. Oh, you've got more. Typecast. I've only got like I've only got like three. I was just going to oh, take. I've not but... even got that many. No, I haven't really. Got... Do you got fucking loads? I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> oh, no, I've got two more. Sorry. Go on. Oh, these ones that I've randomly thought of: Jake Gyllenhaal and Okja. Okja. Oh yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal. That yeah. it's not like a go watch it just to watch him in this film, but it's I don't know, he's cool, really yeah. good in it. <laughs> That's really just funny. shocking, especially if you watch a lot of just Jake Gyllenhaal like lead films because yeah. he's not he, he's very good, and I don't think he's like a typecast. I don't think he's like a typecast actor, but no. he tends to take serious roles, so he tends to be quite similar. But in Okja, he is a fucking nutter. Yeah, <laughs> he is. Yeah, go watch it if you haven't. But he is. He wears little shorts, and he's a. He's hilarious in that and puts in a weird ass voice. He's really good too. So he's, he's really good. believable. He's just totally so gone weird. for it. Yeah. Which I love. That's what you got to do. Yeah. Throw yourself into it. And the other one I had was uh, Ryan Gosling and Nice Guys. I thought it was a little bit oh, like. Because yeah. again, because it was quite nice for that. He's taking the piss out of himself. Mm. He still looks like Ryan Gosling. He hasn't shaved his head. So again, is it that different? Is he, he even, his head? is he even in it? Is he even in it? I his head ain't shaved in it. I'll say that. Yeah, I don't know because uh, Crazy Stupid Love. Is he more makes joking me, that? yeah. Yeah, I was that's he's the only thing very is... like he's very like. It's weird that you say it because I thought as I was saying as I was writing, right? I mean, as I was thinking he's... up in my head, Ryan Gosling, nice guys. I thought, is he like that? And crazy stupid. He's like? not like he's not like that. He's not sort of taking the mick out of himself because he's intentionally sort of in suits and like dressed all dapper and has like oiled up muscles and all of that yeah. so in that way no but he's really like quick and quippy and sort of like he's really funny in it so I think because I'd seen him be really funny I wasn't totally shocked by him being really funny in that but yeah. it's still a different yeah more as well because he's always silent and everything yeah. and then in Nice Guys he was an absolute I think <laughs> yeah he's so good he kind of just like rocks up and just says just when he's doing. the lines on the page and then that's it yeah which is uh, better, I think, sometimes. None of them shave their heads, so again, none exactly. of them are real. So was anyone even in that? <laughs> are real changes. Also, when I was looking up any stuff, all I could find was like physical changes. Like, that, that doesn't change it. I need some uh, yeah. some actual 
acting changes. You take it away, because that's all I've got. Well, the first one is a film that you haven't seen. And actually now, this, again, it's sort of, it doesn't feel that that shocking that he was in it. But at the time, it's Robin Williams in One Hour Photo, um, which obviously now that he's, like, he did stuff like Good Will Hunting and Dead Poets Society and stuff like that, it doesn't yeah. seem that different. But at the time, he'd literally only ever done comedy. So yeah, I think that I was like a see. massive, like, whoa, that's... Whoa. Really, I know really about weird. that film because I didn't realize you'd watched it. I looked at it for you. That's it's why. It's really good. <laughs> I haven't seen it for years, but it's really good. Do you know what it's about? Uh, it's about a guy who works in a photo shop yeah. that follows. He isn't. F- I, d- I, I, don't if, I can't remember. If I thought it was just. Something I just remember anyway. that That's he. Know, it, the, yeah, no, it is that. I just remember that he was like unhealthily, yeah, like obsessed with the people coming in, but I can't remember how it like how it unfolds. Um. Again. Does he have a bald head? No, but his head's like really, really, not? really white blonde, so he almost looks bald. Well, I give him a pass because in the poster it looks like in that weird art poster he looks bald, so that, I'll give him a pass for that. You have? A, I don't know if you've seen this either. Monster, Charlize Theron. No, when I think of monster, I think of that monster film that came out around. Mm. I can't remember around the time. She Can plays a serial on? killer. Um, what was the woman's name? I can't even remember. You always have to play a fucking criminal, don't you? To change I think up I role. think this was so surprising because she is so beautiful and glamorous, and everybody was like, "Oh my god, she's like the most beautiful woman in Hollywood." And then she made really it. Killer. She just looks so crazy in it. Oh, I can't remember who she. What the name of the woman was? It was playing. Mm, can't remember. It doesn't say there either. There's a question I have to ask. Yeah. Is she bald in it? No. Oh, I don't care about then. <laughs> I don't have any more that were bald. Ah. Uh, Should we just send it there? Uh, just send it there then. <laughs> if they're not bald, they're not changed. Oh, ho, ho. They haven't Heisenberged it. Next so. one? Yeah. He's Ledger. Dark Knight. I thought that, but I have <laughs> not seen... I thought that. I thought that. I don't think I've actually seen Heath Ledger in anything else. Have I? No. Do you reckon I have? Yeah. What have I seen in Heath Ledger in? Tell me right now. Brokeback Mountain. Didn't watch Brokeback Mountain. Ten Things I Hate About You. Didn't watch that either. A Knight's Tale. Haven't watched that either. Well, they're apart from. Is he in Finding Nemo? No. I vaguely remember him in that. I was gonna say they're all really jokey, but Brokeback Mountain isn't. Uh, But anyway, that was. (laughs) <laughs> no one, no one saw that coming, did they? No one. No, no that is surprising. Yeah. Everyone didn't yeah. see him being that great. I'll give you that. And I know, obviously, Brokeback Mountain was like a serious film, and he's really good in it and stuff. But I still, don't, I don't think anybody saw that coming. No. And I, I knew him from, yeah, mainly from Ten Things I Hate About You and A Nice Tale, and they're like really well. One's like a teen comedy, yeah. and one is a like a complete joke. Like, like it's meant to be jokey. I mean, yeah. Um, Yes, it's seeming that being that good. It's like, what the hell? That's crazy. He obviously was. I think. I think most people thought he was all right in that. <laughs> I feel like it was. I'm not sure. Slightly like well received. Yeah. Um. On this list also is Jonah Hill Moneyball, but we did not see that. No. Also is Emma Watson in the Bling Ring, which we have not seen, but she has done some stuff after Harry Potter that's been really good. Actually, you could say actually Daniel Radcliffe too in uh, Swiss, Army Man. Swiss Army Man. Yeah. yeah that's probably not a massive that. surprise one though. No, they don't feel like, because he's not, because they aren't really typecast. I think of Vince Vaughn is he's such a like one type role. Yeah. I think that's why it was so shocking with this. I have, an, I have a good one. What? Steve Carell in Foxcatcher. No, I watched it. Yes, you have. What, Foxcatcher? Yeah. No. Have you not? No, I swear I you to. said to me you'd seen that. No. Oh. I need well, to. I've he's ruined amazing. this episode, I'll tell you that. I've not watched any films, apparently. Yeah, God. Can you have any... F- we've said about... But... Shows wrong. Can we think of any female ones? Oh, well, there might be more. I'll have a look. Um, yeah, Steve Carell and Foxcatcher. He's so scary <laughs> he's just so like every time he's on the screen you kind of like feel on edge and obviously he did like the office and yeah. does voices for stupid stuff and like despicable me and 40 year old virgin and all that all that stuff so that 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 to me is more like a vince Warner it's usually type more one. comedy actors and yeah. serious roles isn't it, it? yeah it definitely is it definitely is and actually probably the other way around as well like you say 
Ryan Gosling, and then Nice Guys. Go on. You start with one. Yeah, fourth one the other way around. Saw your eyes light up. You saw my eyes flicker. Um, Tom Cruise in Tropic Thunder. Yes. There you go. Yeah. That's the other way around. That's... That was... And he went bald. <laughs> And he was Got bald. one, and he went bald. He wasn't actually... Didn't actually yeah. shave his head, no. He was wearing some great makeup. Mm. <laughs> but um, it's only a small role, but there you go. That's a big old fucking change for him. <laughs> but then that was interesting, because if you see him in real life, he doesn't seem very serious, and he seems yeah. like that's the kind of thing he would do. But there you go. I've, there you I've go. see again, I've smashed it. Huh? I've given you one that went bald, that, kind of. Yeah, and was and the made other the change. Around, yeah. Well, Anyone else? That's the end of this list. We could say, um, if you're talking TV... I don't like thinking for myself. <laughs> there's another one who's gone bold and gone... Go, get, get, uh, go home or go bold. Um, Wilson Fisk. That is quite surprising. That was a good one. It? Yeah. Nailed it. I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say uh, Brian Cranston in Breaking Bad. It's a very... He went from Malcolm in the Middle to... I was going to say that because you said Breaking Bad or you said... Walt or something. Said, you said it a second I said ago. He didn't go Heisenberg, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that was it, yeah. And I was going to say it then, and then I forgot. But also, I was thinking, <laughs> isn't he normally bald? But he's not. No. He usually has hair and he's dancing in his pants and on roller skates. Normally, Do you remember that bit? Normally. It might have have you watched middle. that in a while? No, I haven't. Oh, watched hang on, let me get up. Let me show you on the podcast because it's the best thing ever. You need to stop me drinking water because I stop drinking really water. need to pee and we are not done. Stop drinking water. There you go. Stop drinking water. Put it down. <laughs> uh, I'm also very thirsty. It's terrible. Before What's the best way to do this? Maybe roller skates is the best thing to type in. I, I swear really he's in his pants. Enjoying this. <laughs> I don't know if he is in his pants, isn't it? Oh my god, you've just imagined him in his pants. That's because he's in his pants in uh, Breaking Bad. <laughs> maybe it is. Maybe I've just... That's probably why. Oh, no. Please. Can't question. Weird hearing his voice. Oh, he's not in pants. Just voice. imagine that from Breaking Bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> That's really impressive, Brian. Cranston. I just... <laughs> oh wait, that wasn't one of it. Hang on. It's the dancing at the start that does it. They also use this in Friends, where Monica's got her fat suit on and it's dancing. <laughs> there you go. From the start. <laughs> I wonder why I thought he was in his pants. I think he was in his pants quite a lot in Malcolm in the Middle as well. Oh. oh my god, that's actually him! I reckon this is all him. <laughs> it's not. Why is he cooking meth? He should be fucking... Oh no. <laughs> ...fresh and <world's> <laughs> The bits where he's not doing it really good are my favourite. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. I thought I had. <laughs> I love I've imagined him in his like pants these. as well. That's a big joke. That's so good. That is so good. Oh, who else? We should start watching that. I haven't seen it all the way through and you always talk about it. It's, it's on the American Netflix. It, but we'd have to buy it, I think, because yeah, it's only on the American one. I bet we could get it for like 50p from CEX. Probably, yeah. Probably. I was just thinking as you I said that. I was just thinking that as I said that. Is there any superhero ones? Is there ones any superhero that are... ones that. If you. If you... <laughs> oh, I've just lost it. <laughs> oh, my hairband. Go on. Are um, there any superhero ones? What surprising superheroes? Ben Affleck, people were kind of surprised yeah, by that. Yeah, that was super surprising. Anyone yeah, who plays right. Batman was surprised by it. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Anyone else? Like, any know. super? There's got to be superhero ones. People are like, oh well, or villains uh, or. What about Josh Brolin is probably kind of surprising. Mm. <laughs> no. Yeah. I think if you're saying about surprising I villains, think actually, I think it was surprising um, that anybody thought that Ryan Reynolds would ever <laughs> do that. <laughs> <Christ. laughs> uh, Ryan Keaton. Uh, <laughs> you got that except then. Michael Keaton. Ronan Keating. Ronan <laughs> <laughs> Keaton. Um, uh, Michael Keaton. I was just going to say Sorry. about Michael Keaton in Birdman was surprising, but I think that's only because he hadn't done anything for so long. I think he's surprising it as Vulture. <clears throat> yeah, no, he is. Yeah, oh. bit. But then he's not very typecast. There's got to be typecast people that seem completely different in their roles. I yeah. thought superheroes would make it easy to think of, but I can't think of any. No. I hate myself. 
Well, I hate you too because you can't think of anything. Oh. Nah. I bet there's a lot with, um, like... Oh, I know. I know one. What? I know one. Just you? Gerard Butler in Phantom of the Opera. Never seen it. Yeah, but that's surprising. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter if you've seen it. I'm saying that is that is shocking. Is he shocking in it? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, again... <laughs> he can't sing, like, at all. Cle- clearly he couldn't sing before he did this. Um, he he's like he's passable. It's not it's not horrific, but I think it's uh, yeah. This has gone disastrous. Why? <laughs> this is hard to think of them. <laughs> it's disastrous. Now you said it. Uh, I said it there. Then thanks for listening, everyone. <laughs> I can't think of any really that like. I was just talking about one. You but you said he's not surprising. You just said he's just it's surprising that he's in that film. I didn't say he's not surprising. I said he's not horrendous. So he's different. He doesn't seem like Gerald Butler. Oh, no, it? not at all. Well, no, it's, oh, a, okay. it's like an opera musical. Well, no, I know that's what I was confused. He's normally like running he's... around, making sure London doesn't fall down, <laughs> or Olympus. That's very true. Something's falling down. Something falling down. He he's needs to, to make sure he's there to make sure he doesn't fall down. Yeah. Although the chandelier does fall down the in chandelier. Phantom of the Opera, so maybe they thought there's stuff falling in this. Who should we get to try and prevent that? Gerald Butler. <laughs> he's always stopping stuff from that's falling. That's very true. <laughs> Jason Statham in Spy. In Spy, yeah. He's yes, already bald. Yes. That half is already and done. We've already but... said it and didn't Anticipate, even think yeah. about it. Yeah. He's so funny in that. Yeah. That's surprising in a different way as well because it's a it's a it's not a dissimilar role to what he normally plays, just but it's just in a totally different it. genre. Yeah. yeah. He's so good in that. It makes me like him so much more. But it also makes every time I see like an advert for him in something now, I'm like, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I don't How think, he can I don't take himself seriously doing for. that now. I know, after he's done after that. After he took the piss out of himself. Yeah. I can't well, I remember kind of any role. of the stuff that he says in it. I was going to say something. But... There's got to be other stuff. I feel like Bruce Willis has... Bruce Willie, as I was about to call him. Hmm. Bruce Willis has done something. I don't fucking... I it's... don't know. I don't know. Samuel Jackson in Kingsman's pretty strange. Yeah. Everyone in Kingsman. Um, everyone in Kingsman. Uh, yeah, pretty... I was going to say, actually, that's just a surprisingly cast film, apart from Taron Egerton. It's yeah. not surprising at all. Seems... Except for he is Welsh, so kind of surprising. Yeah. yeah. It's hard, because I'm trying to think of ones that are really... Like I said, because the thing is with Vince Vaughn, he is such a yeah. one-time kind yeah. of actor, but then he seems so different. But I can't think of any other actors who are, like, no. always like something. No. If you think of any, put them in the comments. Yeah. I feel more confident saying How? that this week because last week we, had some, last we actually had some views. How did we get yeah. 300 more views last week? Yeah, can and we someone got only explain three it to thumbs us? up or down Obviously, and no comments. Yeah, it's, it's, and one subscriber yeah, from I'm, 300 views. Well, it's not even that. It's just I know it was Infinity War, but still to go up by that many. If, if anyone has any feedback there, just uh, Let us know. whack it in the comments there. Yeah. No one's listening this far in, but still. They might be skipping. If you're skipping at, to this point, stop now and listen to the rest. <laughs> <laughs> we I don't. Much so bad. No, no, bitch. Yeah. Um, should we move on to some? Um, what's the segment called? News. That was. We still can't get the hang of you saying it three times. News. Oh, okay. What is it this week? This week? What, what is what it? We should be doing it every week, but we have done it for about three weeks. New, new, news. News, 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 And again, news, still not news, free time. News, news, news. <laughs> that's, that's a, you just have more, to say the word three more. times. Okay, news. <laughs> news. Still, you only said it once then. Oh my God, let's just get on with the news and his news. It's going to need to pee, pee, pee. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just, uh, just for the thing. We both know where we have to insert things. Like, so we're like, Haha, and shh, and, and continue. <laughs> um, oh, we what are have we got on. this week? We are, on the... we are on to the news. Let's go back first, to where we started. For... Okay, you go. Push everyone anchors on a TV series. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just take you to Neil and Sophie for the news. Oh, 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 oh yeah, wait. Are you going to say? Uh, okay, you go. No, wait. Uh, okay, wait. Sports. Wait, sports. <laughs> you missed your segment. Um, what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say Ant Man and the Wasp. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. An hour ago. One hour ago. 
I like it. They re- I, I like it. You um, don't like the ant on the drums, no. did not the like the ant on the drums. It made it feel like a really bad choice. old 80s film. Didn't I love that song. Didn't love it for this. No. And I would have thought that I would, but it didn't work. There are only a few weak elements in this trailer. The trailer doesn't give enough... I think this might be a final trailer, or it's the second trailer, so it's going to be the last like proper trailer. Yeah. Hopefully. Don't give us any more. It doesn't, mm. I don't really know what's entirely going on, which is interesting, so I don't want to. Uh, I like well, They the did say what it was. Well, they said that, obviously, the villain has... They said the because Hank Pym went into the... Yeah, went into the quantum realm. Something nice. came out. When he went in, something came out or came out with him. The ghost thing came out. Oh, I thought he said the ghost was using the technology of the quantum realm. Yeah, it was, but it came out of the quantum realm. No, it's running around. Yeah. It's his daughter. (gasps) Wait, what? His wife's in the quantum realm. Yeah, but the wasp is his daughter. It's his other daughter. (laughs) Yeah, no, but she could have been pregnant when she went into the quantum realm, had a baby inside the quantum realm. That's what's come out. Wasn't she. Wasn't she black? (laughs) We don't know what the quantum realm does. <laughs> we don't know what the quantum realm is. Oh yeah. my god! Or maybe there's more people in the quantum realm, and she wasn't pregnant when she went in. Yeah. Overall, this trailer may be less excited than the last one did. So. It does. So there. I like how they're Isn't using the. Oh, the... oh I'm sorry, but. I'm moving. I'm sorry. Isn't the ghost also the ghost looked like the one that was in Ready Player One that had a weird part that was not in it really? The ghost looked like the ghost in Ready Player One. It looked like the woman in Ready Player One. I'm trying to see if she is or not. Um, Yes. I liked the way they. What? Sorry, but you know that you're making her... stuff up. No, I'm not. Her from Ready Player One. I don't remember her in Ready Player One. That's what we said on the last podcast. But she, because she was a really rubbish. Oh, wasn't she part. the silly, silly yeah. one who just was yeah. kind of then like, wow, yeah, and then yeah. he went, give me a second, and he kicked her off the yeah. van. Yeah, she's the main, she's the villain in that. Oh, movie. it's weird, isn't it, when just people come out of nowhere? Like I know, that, and now she's in just... stuff. She's in Black Mirror, Tomb Raider as well. <laughs> oh, she was the yeah. She, see, she was just the boxer, the boxer at the start of yeah. It's a really get her name some good uh, got she's a good doing agent. Doing well, yeah. Um, what I was saying with this, she's a good look. I like the look of this. Is they have been one. Batman and the Wasp, they both look cool, good good casting, interesting. Don't know what she's... I guess she hasn't really been acting for a while, Evangeline Lemmy, because I haven't really seen her do I much. Seen her Obviously, much. she was massive and lost, and after that ended, yeah. I think she kind of went to have children. Um, I like the way they use... The, what's smart about this is I like the way they're using the technology, like the the, the, the stunts in this. Yeah. I, they're very like obviously when they have the little van they go underneath the other van and then turn it big and it flips the other van. Yeah, and, like that's all the kind of like awesome. stunts to do with like changing size. Yeah. I like because I think they're going to do smile. that really well, yeah. and it feels great. It feels and this feels like it's related to Captain America, which always make me happy because it's on Earth and it's ground level. Yeah. Where there isn't like crazy. Obviously, there's a quantum realm stuff, but there isn't like any yeah. spacey stuff other than that. And I do it's not, really like, like the Earthbound stuff, isn't and it's heisty, and it's kind of it best, yeah, it's all kind of heisty stuff, and it's funny too, which is quite nice. Yeah. I wonder if it will end with Infinity War. We won't say about that because spoilers. I don't want to spoil Infinity War in this one. No. Um. Oh, the look of it. I we think can say though, wacky. we wonder if what happens at the end of Infinity War happens. At the end of this. In this, yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll leave it there. Someone might kill us in the comments. Someone might. Kill Someone us. bothers to comment. <laughs> um. Also, sorry, but you just said, oh, she's getting her name in some good films. Yeah. The ghost woman. She's also in. Uh, Susan Kane. She's in Force Awakens, but she's she's just an officer, a first order officer. She's, she's a slug. She's, she's the just... slug uncrank. <laughs> <laughs> she's, what? She's the slug uncrank on the planet of Nya. I made that up. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, that, was, that was quite good. I thought it was the right well, thing. But she's uh, just slowly made her way up and up and up and up. She's also in uh, The Tunnel, which is a very good series. Anyway. She's the woman in The Tunnel. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Not she, no, she is The Tunnel. She is The Tunnel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um... Any other news? Sure. I love it. You look at me like I'm reading. I'm just going to remember what I was going to say. Ugh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something about... Wait, it's weird because you can hear tapping down the mic. <laughs> uh, also, also... Um, so. There's not really much news <laughs> that we should be commenting about. There isn't much news because, like I said, Infinity War has crushed all yeah. that is alive. Kind of is. Oh, oh, okay. 
I didn't know that there was going to be a Maleficent 2. I'm pretty sure we've spoken about that before. Well, Michelle Pfeiffer has joined the cast. Is it? Oh, she's yeah. getting around in films these days. <laughs> I was like, she's some sort of actress. Weird. She's getting around in the quantum realm now. She's getting around in films too, yeah, apparently. Yeah, goodness me, Michelle. Yeah. Um, there isn't much. No. There's a new Annabelle film coming out, which I don't think we mentioned last week. Yeah, I, no, we didn't mention it last week. I said to you that they got the writer, the no, the producer, someone from it, working on it. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That is right. Well, also I am good at this stuff. Russo, it says that Russo brothers. Yeah. Oh, they're setting up a studio. I'm not surprised. After, after Avengers have... Four, that time, that bloody <laughs> time. It says they're tackling oh. non-Marvel projects. Oh, God. Well, I don't really... They have really exploded with that, haven't they? It's just Winter Soldier and from Winter that... Winter Brothers, they're, yeah. No, good on them. Anything. They're so good. They, yeah. just, just, they deserve to. Um, that's really all I... Uh... I could tell you this. The Quiet Place 2, you sent me a link to that and said that's a thing. Which what? is... A Quiet Place 2 is in oh, yeah. the works. I did send that link to you. Did, did, did you read anything about that? Because I found that first. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. Because because I really hope well I because I hope that it's them working on it, and I would imagine it would be John Krasinski yeah. doing it. But then also I saw that he's he's confirmed that his next project is Life on Mars, oh. which is a adaptation, a film that he he's now well, doing that. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that he's not doing the second one. He might just be doing that first. I hate they have to tell it so soon. Couldn't just wait. I know. Just give it a give it a minute. It's like get out. It's like oh he's gonna be maybe working. So we just fucking let them get what they want. What they want to do. I know, but it's never. It's it's always gonna be like that now because people want to know now now now. So and then forget it. straight away because the quiet place is, is just like sort of dropped now because mm. it's out and it's a shame with that. The stuff how like a week later you kind of. It is yeah. It really is. Yeah. And then has a second wave when it obviously gets released on Blu-ray and DVD. I really but... I really hope that that does get some sort of recognition. Not that the Oscars are the be all and end all, but it does put stuff like you know in the. More in the in the wider, yeah, thing of horrors things. making a comeback these last few yeah. years. I think, and I think if Get Out was in there, then this definitely deserves to be. Yeah, God, it is doing a bit, a bit of horror because there's yeah. very. If you look at like last ten years, there isn't a lot of good mainstream horror that isn't. <coughs> I sneezed. <laughs> that's also there isn't a lot of good mainstream horror that isn't shit. Well, that's <laughs> possible. That's why. Right. Um, anyone wish to leave it there? I think we should leave it there because also I really need to pee. <laughs> wow. And I've been like jiggling my leg for about 20 minutes. Well, shave your head. and Shave your head. You want to if you want to be taken seriously. You're a changed actor. Yeah. All right. Would you shave your head for a roll? Well, now we're back down to three views this way. <laughs> <laughs> down from 302 to different two. We should shave um, our heads and take a picture as, and that should be the thing and then we'll get picture. a million views. Because they'll be like, God, they've really, they've really changed. changed as podcast hosts. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious to see what they're doing now their heads shaved. Yeah, I bet that has I'll they, draw, I'll I draw, bet I'll they've taken a, on a really different I'll angle. get a sharpie and draw a cross on the back of your head. Yeah, a sharpie, thanks. Yeah. Why is, why is your, you won't worry about me shaving your head, you're more worried about me drawing <laughs> your head with a sharpie. Well, All right, I'll meant, I was going to go the head. whole hog, I was going to actually get the tattoo. All right. So, Peace you're out. not committed. Or... Peace in. It's taking too long, I'm going to pee. Bye!